it's something that's become a caricature and, you know, actually sometimes a cartoon. A person walks up to a noted spiritual teacher and asks, what is the meaning of life? And the spiritual teacher comes back with some witty, sometimes humorous response. You know, there's truth behind that caricature. When we think of life's most pressing questions, the things that really make us ponder, a lot of them have to do with meaning. We're trying to make sense of what's happening. Today, I want to talk about how we make sense of life's really pressing issues, things that happen to all of us that really cause us to think about, well, what is the meaning of life? Why am I going through this? Why is this happening? As I talk about this today, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. I grew up in a religious context, and in that context, I was provided with answers to questions. Well, they actually did one better. They gave me the questions that were supposed to be important to ask, as well as the answers. And as a child, I was taught to memorize questions and answers from the catechism. And as a kid, you know, this was what it was. It was like memorizing anything else. Like, you know, back in my day, we memorized times tables and different things. When I reached my early 20s, all of these questions and answers really fell apart. It was in my early 20s that I began working as a hospital chaplain. Now, I was probably too young to be doing this work, but that's really where I was. And because I was the youngest chaplain on staff, they assigned me to the pediatric unit. Well, other units too, but pediatrics was always my responsibility. I got to the pediatric unit and found things I had never encountered before. I was there to provide support, companionship, pastoral care to families with children who were suffering because of cancer, some of whom died because of rare cancers. There were infants who had been abused so badly that they had brain damage. There were young adolescents who were injured in sporting accidents, who were left paralyzed and would be for life. The questions and answers I was taught had nothing to do with any of these realities in life. And I realized that those questions and answers didn't fit. And so it was important for me to begin to understand how we find answers to life's pressing questions. And we all have them. You know, we have the experience of a loved one dying and trying to make sense of that person's death. We have the experience of aging and experiencing limitation and asking, what does my life mean now? We have the experience of something in life falling apart. And we try to understand what that means. How do I keep going? And I want to suggest that no one can provide you with the answers to those questions. The only answers that work are the answers that you find for yourself. And that sometimes feels very isolating. It sometimes makes us feel very alone. But in fact, I think that some, there's something empowering about that, that the only real solution is the one that works for us. Now, yes, it's important to talk with people and to talk with folks we trust. And it's not because we talk to them because they're going to give us the magic answer. There is no magic key here. But in talking through with someone else, not only can we put together pieces for ourselves, but we can hear how other people have put things together for themselves and sort of bounce off of that and have a reference point. You know, we may find some things that work and some things that don't. I've had an important experience with that over the last year. Over the last year, I have been 
coming to deal with and understand what it means for me to live with chronic pain because of arthritis. And yes, I've sought treatment and I'm doing everything I can for it. And at first I went into this thinking, okay, I'm going to get treated and I'll be back to normal. Well, that's not the case. And it took me a while to accept that this was my new normal. My new normal was going to be living with pain and pain that pops up in my body in different places and with limitation. And of course, I didn't like that idea. And I talked a couple times with a friend of mine who's a few years older than me, who's lived with pain a lot longer than me. And I heard how she's come to deal with it. And as I've thought about living my life for, say, the next 20 years living with this pain, I thought, okay, I need to approach this differently. And I thought about the fact that I've moved around the country and started over in new places multiple times. And so I've decided this will be a new adventure for me. This will be like a starting over again. And it will be something I haven't done before. And I'll approach it from that perspective. And as I look to start over again in this way of living, I'll look for where the adventure is. And as I'm doing that, I'm finding myself more and more reconciled. And I'm saying this not because I'm saying this should be your answer, but because this is part of my process of coming to an answer for something significant for me. It has to be an answer that works for both of us, for, for ourselves. It can't be one that works for me and not for you. Your answer has to work for you. And one of the things that talking to my friend did was help me with that. Perhaps talking with a spiritual director can help you in that process because spiritual directors reflectively listen. This isn't always a counseling issue. This is about living life creatively. And that's more the realm of spiritual direction. So if you want to talk about spiritual direction, reach out to me. And if you don't want to work with me for spiritual direction, I'll help you find somebody. But here's the thing. It's important to remember that the answers to the questions we have that are most significant about life are always going to be our own answers. They're going to be unique to us. And we need to give ourselves freedom to explore and find those answers because that's what makes our lives worthwhile. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments, and know that I really appreciate your time today and every day that you watch something on spirituality beyond borders. Thanks.